Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Emudeck just got updated and it now has official support for the PlayStation 4 emulator, Shad PS4, for the Steam Deck, Steam OS. And I really like this because like if you're like me, I like to play things like games on my Steam Deck like a console. Uh, I don't like to load into a launcher to load the game or load into the emulator to load game. Uh, so you can see here on my Steam Deck home screen, I could just load directly into my PlayStation 4 game, Bloodborne. And, you know, I don't have to go through the emulator and stuff like that. I just boot into it, into the game. That's how I like it. And, yeah, I'll show you how to do this if you're interested um, later in the video. I'll go back to my desktop mode and I'll show you how this is done if you know, you're not familiar with it. So you can set up your Steam Deck just like mine. All right. And it, like, it's amazing just to boot directly. Uh, this is actually using the main build of the... PlayStation 4 emulator, Shared PS4, it's the main build. So like for Bloodborne, it's not the best build to play Bloodborne. Um, using the fork does run a little bit better. Um, so yeah, for Bloodborne, I normally use a different emulator. I'll do a different video showing you the best way to play it currently uh, with the fork, how to get the best performance and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, for most games, yeah, the main build is okay, is, is good. Okay, so. Let me take you back to desktop mode and I'll show you how this is all done. See you back there. Before we go any further, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check out their website using my link below. So they sell games at discounts, okay? And they can do this because they buy their games directly from the game developers. So it cuts out any middleman and that translates to big savings for you. And they've got a trust pilot score of 4.7 out of 5. And that's with over 730,000 reviews. So yeah, very trustworthy site. I buy my games here. If you buy games from Steam or epic game store make sure you go here and check them out first like compare the prices uh, you're going to save yourself a lot of lot of money uh, i am their official partner so i do get a little kickback if you're using my links um and yeah that's at uh, no additional cost to you so if you want to support me and my channel uh, and you're buying games save yourself some money check out instant gaming thank you for sponsoring me and let's get back to the video Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you want to do is you want to install EmuDeck. Okay, so if you don't have it installed already, go to emudeck.com on your browser. Okay, click on the download on the top right, and then click Steam OS. Okay, download for free, and go and open up your Dolphin. In your downloads folder, you should have a new file called emudeck.desktop, which you just downloaded. Double click on it, click execute, and it's going to run an installer like any Windows installer. Just follow through. It's going to take a little bit of time because uh, it does download a lot of emulators, okay? Um, and you get to choose between installing it onto your SSD, your internal SSD, or the SD card, okay? For me, I installed it onto my internal SSD. So if I go to my home directory, there's a new folder called emulation. If you install it onto your SD card, it's going to be in your SD card location and you also have a folder called emulation. So it'll be exactly the same. It looks something like this, okay? And onto your desktop, you should have a new shortcut called emudeck. So run emudeck and uh, update. If, if there's an update, make sure you're on the latest version. Okay, and once you're in here, click on the left-hand side, Manage Emulators. Okay, scroll down a bit, and you should see Shared PS4. That's the PlayStation 4 emulator, and then here should be Install. I've already got it installed. That's why it says Uninstall for me, but if it's your first time, it should have Install here. Click on it, make sure it's installed, uh, and then you might want to reset configuration if you want to, you know, make sure it's stock settings. Okay, and then once you've installed Shared PS4, go back to your um, Dolphin, your, your file manager, back in the emulation folder. You want to launch the emulator. So it's inside here, the tools directory, and then you've got a launches directory, and then here, sharedps4.sh. Double click this, fo uh, this file, execute, and this is the emulator, okay? And if you go to settings, game install directory this should be the default directory okay you can change it if you want but if you want to leave it at stock uh should be emulation storage shared ps4 games and then dlc is emulation storage shared ps4 
DLC. Okay, so if you take a look at it in your Dolphin, your file manager, emulation, storage, PS, uh, shared PS4, and you've got two directories, games and DLC. Okay, so if you have your PS4 games like a folder format like this, okay, you can just paste it here, paste the whole folder here. If you have the PKG files, okay, you have to install it. So go back to your emulator, go back to your emulator and click file, install packages, select the PKG, and then it'll install. And it like you go back here, it should have the folders right here once it's installed. Okay, that's how you install your games. If you have the games already like in a folder format like this, you can just paste it here. Okay, um, and then yeah, the emulator, if you're not familiar with it, um, you can click on this gear icon for the for the settings, okay, these are just default settings. Okay, nothing special here, default settings for me. Um, and then uh, for the game, for the game, if you wanna update versions, if you have an update PKG, you can also update it. You can also update it. So it's also just add uh, here, file install packages and just add the um, update PKG and it'll update your game. Okay, um, and then what we want to do uh you also want to check if your game has any patches so right click it and then cheats patches go to patches okay and then down here respiratory go to shared ps4 download patches so bloodborne does have patches okay if you have patches you should use them because it normally fixes the game and makes it run better um you might want to search online uh what patches uh what what, what do you want to change uh to make it run better these are what I'll use for Bloodborne. Okay. And then you also want to create shortcuts. So right click it and then here click create shortcut. And you can see on my desktop it created a shortcut. Okay, so I'm going to do it for both of my games. Create shortcut. Okay. Okay, let's minimize this for now. Uh, I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so these are the two shortcuts that I created. And take note. It does have some special characters, so you can see the trademark, that's a special character. We want to delete the special character. Okay, you don't want the special character, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay, go back to Emudeck. Go back to Emudeck, and then here, there's a Steam ROM manager. So if you want to click on it, open it up. So if you want to create the Steam shortcuts, like I did in my Steam Deck home screen, where you can just load directly into the game without going through the emulator. This is what you want. And default, it should look something, it's not default. Uh, it should look something like this. Okay. Yeah, it would look something like this with all the passes, okay. But you can't really do much with this setting. So I, what I do is I go here, settings. And then here, select theme. I go to the classic mode. Okay, it looks something like this. This is, I, I, I use this. Okay, why? Because uh, you can do more customization here. So on the right hand side here, oh sorry, not right hand side, left hand side, toggle passes. I, I don't toggle all the passes uh, for all the emulators. So scroll down, make sure Steam ROM Manager is also updated. Uh, once you load it, it should ask you to update if you have if there's a new update. Make sure it's updated to the latest version because the latest version does have a new parser, which is the PlayStation 4 Shad PS4 shortcut, this one. Okay, click on it and here are the settings. You might want to mess around with it if you know what you're doing. Uh, I just leave it at default. Okay, what you want to change is here, it says here ROMs, the ROMs directory. It's like the ROMs directory global slash PS4 slash shortcut. So where is this? This is actually in your emulation folder that I've always been talking about. And there's a ROMs directory. Go inside ROMs and then PS4. PS4, if I can find it. Okay, PS4. And uh, you probably don't have shortcuts directory. Create it yourself. So right click, create, create a folder, call it shortcuts. Okay, and put the shortcuts that we just created from our desktop in here, I've already done it, but let me do it again. So just drag them over, move here, just gonna override it. Okay, put it here, then go back to the theme ROM manager. Okay, um, yeah, that's basically what you need to do.
um, and then these are all fine. The executable is in the tools launchers, chat ps4.sh. Okay, so these are all fine. Save, and then here click add games, pass. There are no pass return passes. Okay. Oh, because we didn't click on it. Oh yeah, we didn't click on it. Okay, so you need to turn it on. So I forgot to turn it on. So that's why. Uh, click pass. Okay, so I found my two games, the two shortcuts, and then you have to make sure Steam is closed. Okay, so I've got Steam opened here. So right click it, exit Steam. Make sure it's fully closed. Okay, this icon has to be gone like that. Okay, and then I'm going to click save to Steam. Okay, it's going to attempt to kill Steam. And it feels like nothing's happening. Be patient, don't just close it. It's not going to work. You have to wait until it says done adding, removing entries. That's when you can close it. Okay, so attempting to restart Steam. Okay, done adding, removing entries. That's when it's done. That's when it's done. And then in your Steam, if you open up Steam, you should have the shortcuts. Okay, um, and that's that's basically it. I'll give you one more tip, okay? Uh, for the emulator, okay, so the files on the emulator is actually in your home directory. Go to your Dolphin. Make sure you click on this hamburger button, show hidden files. Inside, there's a dot .local hidden file folder, okay? And then go to share. Then there's a shared PS4 folder. Inside here, there's a folder called sys modules. It should be blank. By default, you have to uh, dump your own system module files from your modded PS4, okay? And you should put them here because some games require them. Uh, the Last Guardian requires these files, else it won't have sound, okay? You have to dump them yourself. If you find them online, it's illegal to use like, someone else's files. You're supposed to dump these files from your own PlayStation 4, okay? Uh, I'm not, so that's why I'm not gonna share these files. Um, yeah, you should dump them yourself legally. Uh, don't ask for ROMs, these files, okay? Uh, to emulate legally, you have to do it yourself. You have to dump your own games. You have to dump your own system modules, okay? Uh, it's right here. And yeah, that that's it. That's it. Once you're back into your... Um, okay, let me show you big picture mode. So it's going to be like same as gaming mode. But once you've done all that, go back into your gaming mode or big picture mode. Press the Steam button. Then go to library. And then on the top, go to collections. Okay, you should have a new Sony PlayStation 4 collection. And here would be your games. And you can just launch it from here. And then once you've launched it once, it should be in your home your home screen. Yeah, like this. A recent game screen. Yeah, that's that'll be easier to, to launch. And that's what I like about it. So let me know in the comment sections if you have any issues. I'll try my best to help you out. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.